story time now. My daddy's going to flip the pages and read the words. Yeah, so we've got Smelly Peter, the Great Pea Eater by Steve Smallman and Joelle Dry Demi. Hope I've said that uh, right. Mean, I mean, how how do they eat that much peas? They'll turn into a pea. Right, so. Young Peter Pod was a little bit odd. He ate nothing but peas, fresh or tinned, for breakfast and brunch, for dinner and lunch, though he always had terrible wind. Look at all those peas. There's loads of peas there, isn't there? Lots. Goodness me. Then, early one morning, without any warning, Peter turned green as a pea. Wow! He thought he looked cool and he rushed off to school so that all of his classmates could see. It all. But, but how, how, does, how did he get that green But eating all of that? He ate all the peas. There he is with all of his friends. Look, he walks in. Some are laughing. Some are saying, oh, he's smelly. Some are calling him pea head. Pea he head. loves his peas. But kids like to tease. Boys, the colour of peas, they were rotten to Peter all day. At the back of the class, in a cloud of green gas, Peter thought about running away. Someone is saying, ha ha. Yeah, they're laughing at him, they're what, calling what him names. What does that say, Dad? Well, that says Trump. That means he's just gone... Wow. That night, after dark, Peter ran to the park. The stars were all twinkly and bright. He saw a strange glow. Then a big UFO came and whisked him off into the night. I mean, they, take him away. I mean they don't exist in real life. Well, but if you see one, you have to quickly go in your house. Controversial. Some little green men stared at Peter and then they knelt down and started to sing. You're the loveliest green that we've ever seen. Oh, please say you'll be our new king. Peter agreed, so they shot off at speed to a planet of Krell, far away. Then they asked if King Pete would like something to eat. He said, I'll have peas, if I may. Oh, he loves his peas. What's a pea? asked the cooks and exchanged worried looks, for they'd made him a Krellian pie, plus a wonderful feast so that Peter, at least, had to give half the dishes a try. Look at them asking... What's a pea? But ha look, he won't eat all of them. There's lots of dishes there for him to eat, isn't there? I mean, that 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 look, them them swirly things look like peas. They do. But look, he's green. They're green. So he's going to be their king. And why are they not green? The food was all right. Peter trumped with delight. Then they all had a marvellous party. And the funny thing was, they all loved him because he was green and incredibly farty. Ah. Why, what? Lots of gases, doing lots of farty noises. Look, oh, look at that smoke coming out of his butt. Yeah, I know. For a while, things went well for the new king of Krell. But then Peter began to feel sad. Though the planet was ace and he liked out of space, he was missing his mum, dog and dad. Oh dear. Aww. Then Peter turned pink. Lack of peas, do you think? Which upset all the people of Krell. They had wanted a lovely green trumpety king. Now he'd even stopped trumping as well. Oh dear. Hmm. Well, they look. all think there's something wrong with him. Look, they're all look, doing the tests look, on him. Look, He's look, gone look. pink. Look, if you zoom in, there's like a little bit of green there. They took off his crown and his velvety gown. They were angry green faces all around him. Then, without a farewell, the ex-king of Krell was dumped back on the earth where they'd found him. Oh dear, booted him off his spaceship, look. And look. Hey, look, it's our Peter. He's pink and smells sweeter. And he's hungry. We know what that means. But Peter said, please, don't give me those peas. From now on, I just want... 
baked beans. Oh no! What's going to happen if he eats all them baked beans? He's going to turn yellow. Oh dear, can you imagine? Look, look at all those beans, look. Yeah. Oh wow. What Some other books. And? Uh, the Lamb Who Came for Dinner. Silly Goose. The Very Greedy Bee. The Dark Dark Night. The Three Horrid Pigs. And Pooh. Is that you, Bertie? Some more books from Mom, the what, uh, Dad, Little Dad. Tiger Press. Dad. But anyway, Dad. thank you ever so much. Thank you ever so much for listening to our story. What are you going to say then, Corin? And you, you, you have to share this video, please. <laughs> please share this video. Like, tell all your friends. Give us some... Uh, more, more. Give us some recommendations. Let's get some <laughs> books that we can read to you guys. That would be great. Let's get a little bit more interactive, shall we? All right, but thank you ever so much for joining us, guys. And hopefully, like I said to Corin at the beginning, um, one a week, I think, will be great. Yes, and uh, I think you would like me to tell you that. Um, please turn that um, subscribe button grey. All right, thank you ever so much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.